Well, hello there, my darlings. Happy Tuesday to you and welcome to Let's Build the World. We have a blue here with us today, again, he's facing the other way, pretending he's not interested in what we're talking about, but we all know he's listening in because he is a secret spy. Blue, <laughs> what's this? He's like, nothing. Nothing is there. You're just trying to get my attention and annoy me. Look at him non looking nonchalantly out the window. <laughs> like a fisherman's wife where her husband's lost at sea. <laughs> um, okay. Don't know where that storyline came from. But how are we all? How is everyone on this Tuesday? I hope you're all um, very well. We're going to obviously be getting back into the What's With School of Spellcasting. <laughs> Why was I going to say of witchcraft and wizardry? Because it's not Harry Potter. It's not. We wish it was, but it's not. Um, We're, we're going to build the Owlry today and also the Groundskeeper Hut as well. I'm, I've changed a bit of... Well, I've changed the idea of how and where we're going to put these. So, yeah, we may as well get into game and I can show you a lot better in there. So here we are, my darlings. We are back at Wadsworths. We are here. Um, Didn't really change much from last time. I added a few new things. I perfected the bridge uh, somewhat. It's still not perfect. I didn't use the tool mod for that either. I tried to use the columns with the tool mod. But they were still kind of like weirdly halfway clipping through the walls and stuff. Like they would miss their textures from one side and things. I think that's just the code that's written into them and how they work. They like to make the columns difficult for some reason. <laughs> um, I have gone about putting in some more details just on the interior. But only on the actual uh, kind of walkways that are around the actual courtyard itself. And they're both kind of mirrored images of each other. Um, yeah, I kind of like it. Kind of here for it. Won't lie to you. Yeah, kind of for it. I also added in a toilet into this area here, which I love. I think it's very cute. And I put, I moved that ladder and put a double ladder here because I want this to be accessed out into where we're putting the owlery. Now, the only problem with this lot in itself, because I wanted to do the groundskeeper hut down here, but because of this awful tree that is like literally seven miles into the build you can't really put anything here without it clipping through and then obviously you can't move this tree because it's off of the lot i even tried with the tool mod for some reason don't ask me why i did that i was just testing things okay i was just testing so what i'm going to be doing is putting the groundskeeper's hut over on this side here um and having his own little kind of like walled in area which i kind of i'm here for um, with a nice little pumpkin patch and stuff. This area here is also going to house... I'm going to build up over this area. So quite tall onto this area here. Where, where um, flops off the other house in this school. This is where the common room and dormitory areas are going to be. And then on this area is where we're going to be putting the classroom with the greenhouse. So the greenhouse is going to come around this way. Um, and we're going to do that as well. But yes. Now, one thing I did notice, I did actually change the this one here, the stargazing tower, to have glass, the uh, glass roof. There's no longer glass in the roofs. I don't know if this is a like bug that's just recently come into game, like so many other bugs. Every time the game gets updated, um, but yeah, there's no longer glass in the glass roofs themselves, which is brilliant. I love that. Love that new bug. Um, hopefully they're going to stay weather tight and they're not going <laughs> to like get, but there is literally no glass there whatsoever. So something needs to be sorted, I would imagine. Um, but yeah, so today what we're going to be doing, we're going to be doing the owlery out this area and we're going to be doing the groundskeeper's hut and his little pumpkin patch, etc. over in this part. Now I don't want the, um, the... Groundskeeper's hut to be too big, really. So I'm going to build it quite tightly into the corner over here. Um, and yes, that is happening. So let's carry on and we'll go. The only problem with, with this hut is going to be a tall walled hut. And I'm 
I'm not really a fan of that, but we're gonna we're gonna carry on anyway. And I'm gonna kind of pay respects to Hagrid's hut and do it in, in a more hexagonal shape, which I'm yeah gonna enjoy. But I think we might mix up the stone. Maybe I can use the stone that we've tried to use in the beginning on this build. But maybe it does need to be a bit more of a cleaner grey to match in with the aesthetics around. Yes. Yes, I'm for that, I tell you. Yes. Do I want to move that back one more? Can I move that back one more? I think I can. Oh, no, you can. I can. I was just had it in the wrong area. But that can go right against the water's edge. That's not too bad. I do want it to be quite, quite compact in this area. Because um, I obviously want to be able to build... Um, Flopsoft's house, uh, common house, whatever I, I called it, common house, common room. Um, this is now known as Whifflepuff Tower, by the way. Yes, they've got a bit more of a substantial sized, like, area. I will be making Flopsoft's a bit more square, so it's not too many, like, towers. I do want this to have quite a big, a big structure kind of put on the back here, and it may mean we may lose a bit of pathway, but we'll 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 get to that when we yeah when we get to it which is I don't know when I have no idea absolutely not a bloody jar of glue I tell you not at all but um okay right let's stretch this roof oh my lord oh okay didn't want to do that okay great and again stunning. I think what I'm going to do with this, I'm going to flop a shift C on it. I'm going to bring you down a touch, my love. I'm going to then bend this middle bit in quite substantially. Whiffle this across. And then just round that edge over there. But then I think what I'm going to do as well is make it taller just by adding in an extra. <clears throat> oh, that roof is now gone. Just by adding in an extra roof on top of it. Just to give it a bit more height in the roofal area. Roofal? Yes. Roofal. Um, not too much. Have a look. Yeah, that's cute. I kind of enjoy that shape, actually. I don't think I'm going to mess around with that shape at all anymore. I do want a really cute chimney. And I think the best one to use would probably... It'd probably be this one, but it's not going to match in with any. Oh, no, that's not too bad. Or this one. That's a bit cuter. And that's going to fit with the aesthetics a little bit better, I think. Maybe I could do a little chimney there. Oh, look at it. It's so cute. Yes. I do want to add some more wooden elements onto this as well. Unsure of what would we... This would work. Do we have like a... No, it needs to be a bit more rustic. Um, maybe I could use this one in, I kind of want to go for a lighter tone on here just because to keep in keeping with the castle, but no, I kind of liked that tone on it, to be honest. And maybe I'll just do them on the smaller walls. Maybe, let's have a look. Hmm, Maybe. We are going to change the roof texture. I'm going to use this one, I think. What's that look like on this? It probably needs to be a bit darker. Yeah, it, it needs to be a darker aesthetic. Maybe the, that's too warm, I think. We'll definitely have to change that roof, um, this wood colour now that I'm using this. And then I'll use the trim on it as well, just to give it a, a vibe. Yes. Yeah, we'll definitely change this now. Definitely change this up. <clears throat> and we'll use a darker, darker wood. Oh, I don't like it. I don't like it in the dark. It's just clashing too much. <clears throat> Excuse me. I've got a frog in my throat. Let me just have a drink of water. There we go. I decided on using this wallpaper instead. Just because the I thought the beams fit the colour of the roof that I'd lightened up a little bit as well. And then obviously this ties in with the bottom of this. I just prefer it, to be honest. Do we want to lift this up? I think I might actually. And then I could make this just a little bit of terrain manipulation just around. Mm. 
No, in fact, I'm going to use a foundation instead. Maybe we could... I suppose I could use this one. Which would fit rather deliciously. Deliciously. Onto it. Yeah, I'm kind of here for that. Okay. Um, This is going to be difficult, isn't it, to... Um, well, we could have the entrance there. What's stopping me? I kind of want the entrance on a diagonally. Um, a diagonal. Just because it looks a little bit cuter. I think. I think. Right, okay. Yes. And then I'm going to boosh out this. Oh. This is so slow and painful. So slow and painful. I'm going to get rid of the roof. Oh, there we go. Lovely. Yes. That's better. Oh, stunning. Absolutely gorgeous, that. Um... The only problem is, I didn't really think this through, did I? Because we need to put stairs on it. <laughs> uh, what we're going to do instead is get the walkway down on this level instead. Um, excuse you. Thank you very much. Oh, God. Did you see that? That was a bit weird. There we go. And then just get rid of them. And then get you on there. Nope, that's the wrong. I want the foundation. There we go. Oh, stunning. And then put a little pair of stairs there. Just a little pair. Just a cheeky little pair. Just an absolute little cheeky pair of stairs. Uh, is that the wrong? That looks a weird grey. Again, this the lighting in this world is a little bit strange. But it does... What do you mean can't be cloned? I can see it. Construction quality concrete. So it's now not allowing me to copy this. I I can't, I tell you. I cannot. Oh my god, I cannot eye drop anything. <sighs> breathe, Aiden, breathe. You're only like what? Ten minutes in? Let's breathe. Just breathe. Deep cleansing breaths. <laughs> right, okay. There we go. That wasn't too hard, was it? Well, according to you, yes, it was. <laughs> right, we need a really cute door. Um, and really cute door. Hmm. What door shall we use? Um. Maybe this one. Uh, I suppose it's on a tall wall. It's going to look <laughs> weird. <laughs> With a short door in there. Yeah, it would. So it needs to be a little bit more substantial. Oh, maybe this one could work. Let me just have a little scan through the others at the minute. Mm. I mean, we could go for a fun colour or we could just go for brown. Oh, yeah, that's a good door. That is a very good door. Absolutely. But the one that would have worked as well would have been the uh, stained glass one. But it's very small again, isn't it? Oh, it's titchy. No, we won't do that. Okay. And then I'm going to... Because it's got a round shape to this build, I think I'm going to use this. Is this going to be the right... Why is this not going on the wall? Why? What the hell? In fact, what I'm going to do quickly is just log out and come back into game and see if that helps. I think we're back. I just remapped out this whole hut just to see if it would sort itself out and for the meantime it did it did sort itself out but have i got um faith that it will stay that way no no <laughs> definitely not they're a bit small they are a bit small i wanted to use these around the like on the back bit so he's so the groundkeeper has got something to look over the water's edge to with some like oh christ with some, like, cute open shutters, maybe. That is the wrong wood. That is the wrong wood. And look at that weird thing that foundation is doing there. I have no idea why that is. <clears throat> um, maybe we need to move it. No, because that's going to delete the stairs. Um, Let me move the, the building, my love. Move house. We're moving house. 
We're moving house, everybody. We're moving to there. I can't deal with that foundation sticking there as well. Um, maybe I could just move it back one more. And in as far as I can into the corner. Okay. Okay. Is that door got no glass in it? That door's got no glass in it. Oh, it has from this side. It has from that side. But it doesn't from that side. So maybe that's what's up with the roofs, maybe? Who can say? Who can say? Um, Get rid of you. Right. Let's get some windows. Just went for these really, like, cottagey looking ones. I think they're really cute. But I need to kind of help balance it out because it looks really tall. Um, and I think the best way to do that first would be to add a trim at the top. I'm not sure. Oh, that looks cute. I just wish that was in a matching tone. That would be perfect. But again, it's island living, so it probably won't match in very well. What about if I use like a lighter one? Oh, that's better. Oh, that looks nice. You see what I mean? The space between the window now doesn't look too dramatic. I just prefer that. Right, he's a groundskeeper, so he's going to need some window boxes. Some window boxes of dreams. Maybe I could use these, actually, because we could blend the wood even further in. Couldn't we? Oh, that looks lovely. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that just on the cottagey windows. And then the one underneath, I may do a thicker one. A thicker one, indeed. Um, boop -a -doo -boop -a -doo -boop -a -boo. Where can we go? Hmm. Maybe like this one. I forget about the swatches on this though. They're all a bit meh. They're all a bit meh. Hmm. I think the only one that kind of matched in was the black one, to be honest. So maybe I could just whiffle that up a little bit tighter up to there. Okay, that's starting to look better now. That is starting to look better now. We got there in the end, didn't we? We certainly did. Okay, right. I'm going to start putting in the wall now. I'm just going to go for a more low-lying wall. And I think what I'm going to do is just put a nice kind of maybe just hedge and tree line on this part. I don't know. I don't know. This is a very difficult build today. It really is. Main reason is um my head's a bit of a derp, to be honest. Right. So pumpkin patch back here. Pumpkin patch for the gods back on this little area going over here i think that would be very cute we do what i do want a couple of trees back here as well actually i think i'll add a few of those pine numbers um there's not going to be much landscaping on this lot at all because i do want most the majority of the lot to be taken up by um the buildings themselves and to be honest there's so many trees around it doesn't need it so i don't want to like oversaturate this with lots of plants and stuff uh yes that that is the thought process for today yeah cute little tree there that looks very cute next to the hut love that my roof has disappeared love that love it give me one second okay we have one roof back um i have no idea where that went no idea at all uh but we're not gonna get stressed about it we're not. We're just going to carry on. We really are. Anyway, let's get some flooring to stop on this bit because it keeps jumping out to me that. Yes, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Yeah, I think a little like cheeky tree line just in front of here would look quite cute, actually. Obviously, the need to, he needs a gate to be able to get in. Now, there is a matching gate with this fence, which I really enjoy, and I think it would work really well here. Have you got one with like a wooden and darker aesthetic? Probably the best. Yeah, that's better. Cute. Weirded out how there's not got glass on that wind that door there. Very strange. Okay. Um, can I just like search for pumpkin? Pumpkin in clutter. Oh, here we are. They have got some other cute ones as well, but maybe I'll just get out a few of these plain ones. And then we can start scattering scattering them around. Looking rather lovely 
get a few of you out. Maybe I could get a few of the... Oh, don't they come in the plain colour? I mean, like a coloured but plain one without the faces on. I mean, I could hide the faces, but eh, we'll just stick with orange. Make things simple. Make things simple. We don't want to overcomplicate matters. Classic pumpkin, pumpkin knife, pumpkin scraper, wicked pumpkin. Um, I'm sure there was like a... Uh, maybe it was with seasons. Yeah, this. Yes, we'll get out a few of these as well. Stunning. Okay, right. What I'm going to do... I'm going to start mapping this in a little. I'm not going to make him have any... Um, areas to grow things I don't think because I want to leave I don't want them getting confused with this area with the conservatory that we're going to be building because that would be annoying that would be very annoying we don't want that this is very decorative isn't it it's very decorative so maybe I'll just plonk a few of them out like here instead Because it's got leaves and stuff around it. Yeah, we'll leave the normal pumpkins to um, be the, the main focal point of this. Yes, so we'll definitely need some more pumpkins, that's for sure. Okay, and then I'll do so. I'll do it in just this area. That's cute. And I'm going to go underneath with some vines and stuff, I think. Okay, so pumpkin. Pumpkin! No, not carving station, darling. Just pumpkin. Just pumpkin. Just a pumpkin. Classic pumpkin. There we go. Stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. I can't do shift with that one. So we'll have to get it out one by one. Which is fine. But yeah, I'll put some, I'll play around with this terrain paint a little bit as well. Oh god, that's not right. What have I done here? What have I done? Oh right, okay. <laughs> like, what have I done? Something looks weird. And I don't enjoy it. There we go. That's better. And then back with these. We'll just do another row. Another row along. Like so. But I am just going to mix. I know you can't really see this. But just for extra details. I'm just going to mix them around. So the stalks are not all facing the same way. Okay. Yeah that's cute. That is cute. I think we should leave. And maybe just do a little bit of stone in between them maybe broken stone maybe like this one here would probably work really well and we'll just put it on really quite soft just just in the mid the middles of them just like so maybe a little bit harder that's better just so they looks like you have got a walkway where you could get through again all in those little details Brings a bill to life, my loves. Really does. Yeah. Yeah, that's cute. I enjoy it. I do enjoy it. Um, We'll get to put... I kind of like how that's just like kind of creeping in. And having that all soil underneath of the... Uh, the hut itself. Maybe we'll just keep to that. I don't mind that at all. I will go around here with that though. Like that. Yeah, that's a bit cuter. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do is add in some vines. Maybe these ones underneath of them. What do you look like? Oh, God, you're bloody awful. Maybe a few of these as well, but I could size them like right down. Oh, yeah, that's the ticket. That's the ticket right there. Does that go down anymore? No. Damn. Maybe I could, like, start grouping them up with them. Yeah, no, that looks cute. I do enjoy that. I do enjoy it. We'll keep doing this. Whipple you around, my love. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, that's better. All the way along. All the way along on either one. Do I want to, like, maybe... Do that with that one. Is that going to hide too much? No, it doesn't. And maybe a few of them I'll do like a dead vine on. Like this one and this one. Maybe they're ready for harvesting or something. I don't know. I don't know how these work. don't know how pumpkins work. I don't know how you grow them. I know that they're in the ground. 
Well, not in the ground, but on top in little vines. I went to a pumpkin farm once. Um, picked a pumpkin, but I was just, I was cringing out all, all the Instagrammers there, like, oh my god, autumn, and I was, I, I didn't want to be a part of it, <laughs> so I was just like, we're leaving. <laughs> oh my god, so fair, like autumn, love autumn. <laughs> yeah, I was not for it, as you can tell. <laughs> uh, very, very cringy, very cringy indeed. I think my best friend. I rode so much that her eyes went into the back of her head. And that, my darlings, is why we are best friends. I kind of do want to mix up a few of the uh, different colours. So I'm I'm going to try it. I am going to try it. And maybe just face them away. Just for like a bit of... Yeah. Yeah, that's... That's better. I think I need to use another one of these ones, though, like this. And yes, you'd probably... Oh, what I could do is maybe double them up and then hide either face that way. Oh, stunning. Absolutely moist for that, I tell you. So we're going to do the same here. I'm going to whiffle you around and then hide you in kind of that way, in that fashion. This is the wrong shape, pumpkin, but we're not going to let that come between us. And the same with this one as well. I think I used... Oh, it was the cat one. The cat pumpkin. The kitty cat pumpkin. There we go. That's a bit better. Yes. There definitely needs to be a tree back here. Not a big tree. Just like a... Maybe a bush. Or maybe like... Maybe not you. Just a smallish bush then. Like the base game one that I've used to death in every single one of my builds ever. Yeah. Yeah, I do think so. I do. And I think I'm going to climb some ivy up here. Climb some ivy up from the garden. Stunning, stunning. We will size it up. And we will loop it around as well. Just, just ever so slightly. Maybe not up to there. Yeah, I think so. I do believe so. And just a bit under there as well. A little bit of these vineys. I wish this one came in like a more of a, reg a regular shape rather than this like weird like rectangle. I'm not for it. Yeah, that's cute. But I do really need to add in just like a little bit grass or something like there just to like oh that's better that's much better I might actually do it here as well yes that's bit that's just give me a little bit more um I don't know a bit more detail which just tells the story tells the story of the pumpkin patch of dreams <laughs> okay Cute little bench here, I think. Cute little bench. That's what we're going to do. In fact, I'm going to add one of those stone ones in that I used here. I think that would... Uh. No, I was completely wrong about that. <laughs> I was completely wrong. I really was, and I'd be the first to admit it. Yeah, this one. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. But again, we'll come to a bit more of the detailing of this once we start to get the details in. I am going to get this across here now. And then maybe just go in on this point here. Because then what I could do, connect conflicting block clusters. How is it? They're at the same fucking level. <laughs> <laughs> and then what I could do is plop a tree there. Oh, it's cute, he is. Oh, that's really sweet. Obviously, we're going to add in a whole lot more detail and stuff. Um, I do want to put like a hedgerow across here and stuff, but I really need to get this built out before I start doing that because I may come in, I may come into that. So I think what we'll do is start building the uh the owlery onto the owlery. Um, again, that tree is annoying, so we're gonna 
I think it's going to be poking through it at some point, but it doesn't really matter because I think most of the towers are actually going to be just for ladders. Um, and I do want this to be maybe a bit higher than the castle itself. And I could do that maybe with the use of a foundation. But I'm I'm not having much hope. I'm not going to give it much hope. Really not. Let me see what we can come up with here. Right. Level one. Maybe I could get this level up until there. Now, connecting stairs to that is going to be absolutely hilarious. So I think what I'm going to do is build. Oh, no, I'm not going to be able to do that. Now, let me see how long the stairs will be with this height. It'll be to like there. Let's get it in. Let's get it in there. I also had to get rid of the stairs here because my roof kept disappearing for some reason. And then it was saying that um, the surface I was trying to put a roof on was not flat. Um, It was fun. Very fun. <laughs> so, yeah, that, that's gone out the window now. Anyway, let's see if I can get you on the stairs. Okay, because then we can use the stony abode in the actual foundation paper itself as well, which is nice because that will blend lovely. Oh, that looks quite cute, actually. I will obviously put some really nice railings and stuff up to it. But that means we can now go a little bit higher with this, which is completely and utterly moist. Yes. So there's one tower there. Oh, it really makes me want to connect it into this build. That's in some way. I think I'm going to try and do that. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is copy this up to the last level. We're going to pop you like... Let's get the grid on so we know what we're working with here. I'm going to pop you to like there. And we're going to make this just a, obviously a little bit more substantial. Then what it is. Um, no, that's the wrong shape. Let's get rid of you. Let's start again. I said goodbye. Did I just delete my whole castle? Did I just delete something then? What did I delete? Oh, my pool downstairs. That's what I deleted. So let's delete you instead. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. <laughs> So, maybe in that shape, actually, it won't be too bad. Because I do want to mix the roofing up on top of here. Is that, where is that? Right, let's go there. Um, Let's get you on instead. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Round to there. I wish you could do that with uh, fences as well. I'd love to be able to do that with fences. It would, it would, it would be a dream, I tell you. Let me, let me just see this balance with all of the roofs up. Yes, that would look cool. I definitely need to do a balcony around each level, though. And then maybe I could put the ladder on that instead. On the balcony. Oh, I don't know. I definitely think we need a balcony on either level, though. I think that would be the only way that that could look quite cool. Is if we do that. Okay. Right. Now, let's get a roof on here first. I'm going to go in with a... Why? Right, let's see how many times this roof disappears. Is it going to let me build on it? Yes. I don't trust it at all, though. Not in the slightest. You can see this is not me derping out. It's, in fact, the build mode. And not myself. There we go. Right. I'm going to pull you up quite high. There we go. All right, we're going to shift and see you. Um, oh, for God's sake. Right, okay. No, I need to be at that level. Right, and then I'm going to... That disappears, look, whenever I go into it. Hmm, that's not filling me with joy. Right, and I'm going to flip them up. I kind of want 
this to maybe be quite what the hell there we go right we'll flip that up i'm so sorry about today guys it's been an absolute pain in the ass this build mode today hideous and then i want maybe i want to make it look a bit like bird wings Just trust the vision. Trust the vision. You must trust the vision. I <laughs> uh, just thought I'd bring a bit lightheartedness to an otherwise frustrating situation. <laughs> right, and then I think I'm going to come up maybe a bit taller of that. And then dip this in even further i know i'm 10 miles away doing this but it's the only way the camera's not going to drop for me okay yeah i'm here for that um yeah okay 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 mm -hmm. and then maybe i could flap these down as well oh oh that's kind of nice I know this is creeping through there, but I'm going to let it off. I think I'm going to let it absolutely off, I tell you. I might dip that in just even more, though, there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, I definitely want to connect it in with this somehow. I think. Let me just see where, where we could. I, do, I don't want it to connect in at the top level. But maybe at this level. There isn't really a platform on this level, which is a shame. So I just tried something and it didn't work. It did not work. I was a big derp in it. The build mode was farting all over the show, as you can imagine. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start this bridge moment. And I'm only going to make it one tile wide. Why won't that connect in there? I could do it there instead then. Oh, it's because it's on that weird corner. Okay. Um... I'm going to bring it out past this roof line. We are going to connect the uh, the um, stargazing tower in as well. Let me just see where that's going to lie. Oh, that's going to be right on that roof. Right, let me widen it one. And then I'm going to bring it in another one there. Okay. I'm going to connect it in there as well, but we won't do that just yet because I do want to connect in the air owl reef first. And I'm thinking it's going to connect in well on the... Really? Oh! Oh, it's because it's... um, It's because it's on different block clusters. I should have thought that. Damn you. I could put stairs up to there, though. Nothing stopping me from doing that, darling. So I'm going to give it a good old bash, I tell you. I think what I need to do, though, is make sure... Yep, that's in the perfect space there. What I can do is whiffle this around to there. Get that tucked in. Along with that. And then get some stairs on there. Okay. Okay. What stairs, though? Do you want to go for solid stairs? I don't think solid, but I do want it. Oh, we can use this because it's got a really lovely pattern on the side. <gasps> yes, it's going to work an absolute squiffingly dream. And then I can pull that in. Is that too much? Like, mm, Yeah, it needs to be like there. Held up by magic, I tell you. I may do some pillars on it and stuff. We're going to use that same fence all the way along here as well so it blends in. And the same with the railings. Let me just see that. Yeah, that looks cute. Yes. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right, I'm feeling it now. Right, now what I'm going to do is get that fence going on it. Let's get rid of this one. Hopefully they'll be able to walk over that weird cornered edge there. Oh, I don't think I'm going to be able to put it there. Oh, you can. Lush. All the way along. And on this side as well. 
and this side and this side and this side <laughs> i'm just trying to fill the gap of how long it takes to put a bloody fence on at the minute and i think it's because this build just very detailed but it's um it's never been this bad never 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 okay and then to there as well but i'm not going to put it on this other side for the minute because i do want to do like a kind of balcony area around here where they the owls do maybe get let off or something oh that looks that does look cute yes telling a story and i do i do want to connect this in there so maybe we'll just do that quickly now and then I'm going to start getting some wallpapers on. Okay. Right. Bish, bash, bosh. I know the grid is on, but I, I really need it on for the minute. Just while I sort this all out. What the hell was that? Oh, that was that weird room that we had going on. Um, And you again. Lovely. Right. One there. One there. And one there. Okay, and I think I use the same walkway. Let's get that grid off now. All the way along on this. Just so it blends in quite nicely. Yeah, I will do some structurally support beams maybe coming from somewhere. I mean, that's not really doing much. Can I lift that right up to it? I could. Let's have a look at that. Oh, it's glowing white though. I don't want it to be white. Maybe I could change the color of it. Not really. They're not going to blend in well. Uh, I'll sort that out. We'll definitely keep that beam at that height, though. I kind of like that. Um, and I will put the exterior trim all the way around this as well. And the same there. Lovely. Right. Okay. I'm going to start getting some wallpapers on to this now. I might do that off of camera. I'll get the wallpapers on because I do want to start building the balconies up before we leave today. So we've got some wallpapers on. We've also, I've chosen, I thought these would look really cool. Like a big door for the owls to be able to get in. I kind of like that idea. Um, Don't know how the hell we're going to make an owl. <laughs> but I may just have to use those blue like statues and just pop them like up on levels on tree trunks or something. I don't know. We're going to figure that out together. But um. For the last part of this today, I think, because this build mode is really frustrating me today. I think I'm just going to add in these uh, little balcony details around places here. Um, I think we'll start it. Have I got the right one here? I have. I think I'll do one in front of each of these for a start. I'm sure if I'm going to do them all the way around. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What is this? camera doing <sighs> okay um i'm unsure if i'm gonna do them all the way around each level i don't think i will because i do want to climb some kind of like flower up this i think this would look really pretty with like a white flower climbing it um and make that the detail going up with some windows and stuff in there obviously of course uh, but we do need to get ladders in here so yeah i'm gonna do that I'm going to do it. And I'm going to flop that there. Like so. Let's have a look at you. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yes. That's the, that is the vision. That is the vision. It does look like a big birdhouse. And I'm for it. Obviously it needs a whole lot more detail on that. Um, But yeah, I'm for it. Yeah, I'm not going to put balconies on those levels i don't think we're going to climb a lovely white flower off it maybe that like um maybe this one because this one does come in a white i'm sure of it oh it does oh it looks a dream we're doing it absolutely moist for that i tell you um we'll start it from there and then what i can do is maybe do i'll do something down here to make it kind of look like it's connecting in with the floor or something so let's climb this up. Let's go, let's get these all switched to white so it's a lot easier to work with. There we go. And we'll start climbing this up. 
Oh, there's no wall there, according to this. So that's great. That's just great. <laughs> love it. Love it. I do. Absolutely love that. Um, With this series itself as well, I will be doing quite a lot off of camera. But I think I've already told you, told you this, guys. Um, so, but I will always, as I normally do, come and show you what I've done, what I've changed, what I've added. And I will listen to your ideas as well. Make sure I implement as many of your ideas as I possibly can. Because you guys have just got amazing personalities. Where the hell is that? There it is. Okay. Yeah, this is going to work. Please stick to the wall. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. It was very nice of you, that was. Very nice. Yeah, we'll climb this up. I do want to mix these up a little bit more. There we go. It would be quite cute if I wrapped it around like this way, though. But I do want to show a bit of that off from the front. Can we see that from the front? Hmm. We could, but we could easily go up a bit higher. There we go. Now I'm going to start maybe wrapping it around this way. Eh. Eh. Oh, the camera. The camera. There we go. And then more up here. Oh, my God. This is going to be an absolute nightmare to edit this, this part because I'm going to have to cut so much out of me swearing and getting frustrated. <laughs> oh. And not enjoyable swearing either, as in funny i was genuinely annoyed <laughs> we'll, we'll we'll save that for the live streams <laughs> yeah that's cute okay right yeah that's cute i do obviously need to add in some more details on that tower but it's definitely coming along it really is okay cool thank you my friends for coming today and having to bear with this build mode and frustrated me. It's um, It's been a challenge. It's been a challenge today. If I wasn't recording by now, I would have slapped my monitor and gone downstairs and had a cup of tea or something. But I didn't. I stayed here, didn't I? We're going to be back tomorrow. Back tomorrow into this. We're going to be probably, I would say, making the conservatory tomorrow. We'll actually make the conservatory area tomorrow. So, yeah, we'll leave it as that. We'll leave it as that. Thank you so much for coming, my darlings. I will see you tomorrow. Goodbye.